Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the assessment portion. We're going to talk about how can we be able to identify the proper type of preference assessment method for your clients. And one of the things your supervisor is going to be doing is that they're going to be using this particular map to figure that out. So we talked about the different types of preference assessments. We talked about free operant, single stimulus, pair stimulus, and multiple stimulus without replacement. Also MSW. And the first question that they asked at the top, and I, I want to give credit to Vanderbilt University. They came up with this phenomenal map here of how to make this particular selection for that preference assessment method. The first question that is asked is, do you have an understanding of the types of items the child likes and dislikes? And if you have a no, you're going to do the free operant observation. If it's a yes, is a child able to consistently select between two items without choosing the same uh, side? If it's a yes, you keep moving on. If it's a no, you're going to stay with single stimulus or free operant observation. The next question is going to be that is the child able to select between three or more items without choosing the same site? If it's a yes, you're going to continue moving on to that next question. If it's a no, you're going to be recommending a pair stimulus preference assessment. The next question is does the child engage in challenging behavior when favorite toys or items are removed? If it's a yes, we're going to, you know, ask that next, uh, we're going to look at the next option. If it's a no, we're going to uh, recommend a multiple stimulus without replacement or MSWO. And uh, lastly, you know, if it is yes, you know, for the question we just saw there, then we're going to recommend a uh, multiple stimulus with replacement for toys or a multiple stimulus without replacement MSW for edibles. So this is basically the map of how your supervisor is going to give or recommend a particular type of pre preference assessment method for the client you're going to be working with, okay?